So, I have a good video, very productive video for the empaths. And I'll start this video by welcoming all of you to my channel. Welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empaths free. If you are new on this channel, I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I talk about spirituality. I talk about personal and self-development. And if that's what resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us. Give us a like. Share the video with friends, and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back, and I thank you for your love and support. Let me start this video by saying this. Empaths. A lot of people that is hanging around you, they're not for you. I'll repeat this one more time. So many people that you're attached to, they are around you. They have been around you for some time. They are not for you. How do I know this? Because I have had to learn the hard way. And let me tell you something very funny. You see, you have neighbors, you have girlfriends and boyfriends, you have husbands and wives. You have workmates. There is people that is around you. You got attached to those individuals because those individuals thought you was a good person. Bad people need to get attached to good people. Why? It is in that way they are able to tap into your blessings. You cannot be shocked if you see people flock into your life, you know, into your lives randomly. You know, they want a connection. They want to be your friend. They are calling you to work with them. They are calling you to, you know, do these little things for them. A lot of those people are... going to be tapping into your energy. So they will be tapping into your blessings. Now, there's a problem with this. There's no problem with uh, being around a person and, you know, helping them with different stuff. Maybe you want to fill up their CVs. Maybe you get them a job. Maybe you, have the, you give them a place to stay. It's okay. Okay? You're an empath. You're a good person. That's okay. There's no problem with that. But you see, if you're a person who doesn't know how to protect your energy, it is always going to turn out the worst for you. You will be pouring out a lot of energy into so many individuals, but there's a problem or there's a challenge. They have got nothing to offer to you. Have you ever seen a person who only appears? I'll give you a good case scenario. Have you ever seen an individual who only calls you or who only shows up when they need something from you. Oh, you know, so and so. They have got some money. Uh, they, are, they are being owed some money, so they need some money from you. you. They'll come around, you know, how much? Okay, you give them whatever, $100, $200, they will leave. Not only do they leave, they will never be grateful. You will never hear a thank you. A person shows up in front of your door. They need a place to stay. You have a big home. It's okay. Come in, you can stay for the night. They will come into your home, they will eat the food, they will sleep in your bed. The next two, three days they will leave. You will not hear from them again. And so many other cases we can talk about. They only show up in your life when they do want something from you. The moment you get them what they do need, they'll be out of your life. They'll be nowhere to be seen. And then they'll reappear couple of months later, contacting you when they also still need something from you. Chosen ones, people are always going to contact you only when they are in need. The moment they do not need anything from you, you won't see them. And it doesn't have to be financial gain. It can be even sometimes be emotional support. They broke up with their husband. You're the first person they call. They are going to come around and sit with you, cry around on your shoulders, sleep in your beds. 
you know, you give them that support, you know, in a few days or whatever, they will go, they will go ahead with their lives and they will disappear. They may even sometimes go back to those particular individuals that broke up with them. Then eventually, after a couple of months, they are going to come back with the same problem. And the cycle is going to repeat. It is very important for you to recognize these cycles. These individuals have got work to do. On their own, you did not break them. You didn't cause their problem. Okay, if you have managed or desired to help them in a way or two, it's okay. But when you start recognizing a cycle, then that means that you're dealing with an energy vampire. A time comes when, like anybody else, you have got your own needs. You do have your own desires. There is things you wish for yourself. You have dreams, you have goals, you have mission, you have visions that you want to bring into your life. In other words, you are hoping that God can bless you. You can receive this massive blessing. But there is something that happens. As long as you are still entangled with certain individuals, that blessing is going to be delayed. You will pray. You will wait. You will fast. You will do everything you can do in your power to receive that particular blessing. But as long as your space isn't cleaned, your energy isn't cleaned, it will be very difficult for that blessing to flow into your life. That blessing is waiting for you. The breakthrough you've been waiting for is waiting for you. But it is going to be delayed for one particular reason. The moment that blessing gravitates towards you, there is going to be people who are going to come in and steal from you. You may even notice um, you have like, you know, a lot of you ladies, you have besties. You know, you have these besties. You're always hanging around and stuff like that. You've been always hoping that you can get married. You want to get married. You know, you hope that you meet some, you know, your soulmate. You want to get married and live happily ever after. And for some mysterious reason, you cannot find the partner that you deserve or the partner you have prayed for is not coming your way. Did you know that sometimes there is people who lose their spouses to their besties or to their best friends? Did you know that a person can get married and within a couple of months, they will hear things like their besties or their best friends ended up sleeping with their husband or even sometimes their wives. It can be vice versa. The breakthrough you've always desired, you have always waited for, is going to be delayed. God will delay that blessing on purpose because... First of all, for you to be able to, those doors to open up for you, to get that particular breakthrough or a blessing, God needs, to, first of all, to show you who your enemies are. I've just given you an example of a relationship, soulmate kind of thing, divine counterpart. It can be money. It can be a job, very big job. Maybe you've always wanted to you know, do a certain job, open a business and stuff like that. There is people who are going to siphon you dry the very moment that business or job comes into your life. What does God do? Eventually, God is going to start showing you some people. He's going to show you some people's faces. And you really need to be tapped in when that revelation comes to you. You have got to be tapped in to see, are those people really hanging around you for the right reasons? Or are they just hanging around you because they kind of believe or expect something big is coming up for you? God is going to, first of all, show you those particular individuals for who they really are. It is now going to be upon you to separate yourself from those individuals because a lot of times our blessings are blocked by the people we hang out with. You know, chosen one, at some point in your journey, you are going to learn the art. It is going to be very difficult. I have had so many times I've talked with people. The most difficult thing is to release people that you have always known. Even if sometimes you, you knew they were not good for you, you wasn't benefiting or getting anything from them. They were taking from you. You had nothing getting you. You had nothing that you got from them. 
you have always tried to hang around those people. Those people, they're not for you. And until you clean your space, okay, first of all, you need to see. You have got to use discernment. You need to see the people that are still around you that are, not, that are not meant to be around you. And I don't even care who it is. Did you know that there is some of us, for us to be able to step into our purpose, did you know the people we had to release and get out of our lives before we were able to find our purpose? Do you, have it, do you even have any idea what people we had to leave behind for us to be able to walk in our purpose? Until you will learn that art of letting particular individuals out and permanently of your life. That is when you will see these doors of opportunity and breakthrough opening up for you in your life. But God, first of all, will show you your enemies, the people that are not meant to be for you. They are not meant to be in your life. You have got to remove out of your life ASAP. It is only at that time that you'll be able to receive because that blessing shouldn't come in and be squandered around from people that you have always known and people that have always wanted to suck everything out of you. So you should be able to maintain that blessing when it comes in. You will see them, release them, and you're going to walk into your breakthrough. Motivation video for today. Let us know what you think about the video. You guys know I do love and appreciate your support. Please book a session if you want to. You mate, donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Denzel Moses signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.